Welcome back to Going Walkabout. We end our year in the ancient city of London. I've always loved Christmas in this vibrant city. The lights are captivating from Oxford and Regent Street to Carnaby Road, now Carnaby Universe. You can't help but feel jolly with so much sparkle descending from the heavens. This end of your pilgrimage to the UK made us think about all the places we've been this year, over 25 destinations to be exact, from San Miguel de Allende to Salerno, Italy, Malta to Mallorca, Spain, Avignon to England, with stops back to California in between. Shifting gears just for a second off of Christmas, I want to thank all of you who subscribe to our channel. We now have over 735 subscribers. Hey, okay, back to end of year. All of this end of year stuff made us think, what were our favorite destinations in 2023? In this video, we'll go over our top 10 destinations for the year. Hopefully, this can give you some guidance for trips you may be planning for 2024 and beyond. These are in no particular order. Stay till the end so you can see our first stop for 2024. All aboard for the quick tour of 2023. We begin with the iconic city of San Miguel de Allende. The city is in the heart of Mexico at a pretty high elevation. Bring your walking shoes and prepare to be enchanted. Between the hidden courtyards and back street bars, you'll fall in love with a city that is intoxicating. The best thing about San Miguel is the people. They are charming and always have time for a smile and a friendly hola. Next stop, Huatulco, one of the lesser explored areas of Mexico. The Huatulco coast is almost untouched by the modern world. If you have a sense of adventure, Huatulco is the place for you. Here you can find authentic Mexican towns with authentic Mexican food, with some of the best authentic Mexican beaches. By far, my most popular video in 2023 was on Huatulco. Go before everyone else finds out about it. All aboard for our next stop to Mazunte Zipilote, two beach areas on the Oaxaca coast near Huatulco. A must-see if you are a hippie-loving, sand-between-your-toes, adventure-type person. The sister towns each have their own personality. Mozunte is home to many local craftsmen, as well as a gorgeous, protected little beach. Zipilote is the only legally nude beach in all of Mexico, and as such, attracts an even more eclectic crowd. While Wultulco was my top video in 2023, the one on these two areas was in the top five. Best to go before the secret about this great area gets out. Miguel Hidalgo, also known as Mexico City, is our next stop, Polanco to be exact. With its parks and walkable neighborhoods, we fell in love with this suburb of Mexico City. There is so much to see and do in this area. There's an aviary, great shopping, architecture, and more places to dine than I have ever encountered in any city. Plus, they have museums for every palette. A great place to visit for a long weekend or stay for a month, like we did. Our next stop is Rome, the Eternal City. It took our breath away. Around every corner lurks a postcard perfect moment. We were surprised at how much we enjoyed this ancient city. From the Pope's Palace to the cobblestone streets, we saw as much as we could see in a week, which wasn't long enough. Not to mention the food. You can suspend any dieting when you're around the Italians and just enjoy life. As a bonus, I got to see an actual Italian wedding. The whole week was enchanting. At number six, we have Malta, a place I never thought I'd visit. Malta is an ancient place that encapsulates so many ancient peoples, past and present. With its heavy influence from England for architecture and Italy for food, you have a blend of culture that is both captivating yet lighthearted and fun. We would gladly return for a repeat performance of fun, food, and friends we were able to meet along the way. Worth a one to two week trip whenever you have time. All aboard for our seventh stop, the timeless land of Cappadocia. We both agreed this was truly the most unusual place we had ever seen. In the center of Turkey, you find the ancient lands of Cappadocia, a place where ancient Christians carved out rocks so that they could shelter underground to escape persecution. Voted our best breakfast worldwide thus far 
chalk us up as two more fans of Cappadocia, Turkey. Head number eight stop, we have Mallorca, Spain. The first thing you see on your drive in to Palma, Mallorca is the cathedral, which is breathtaking. That is only the beginning, as there is so much scenery to take your breath away. Both the interior and exterior of the island contain unique beauty. We were here three weeks, which left us wanting more. More great food, more beautiful bays. It should be at the top of your bucket list. Our next stop was one that we were surprised with. Nice, France is number nine on the list, but places high in our hearts. We were shocked at how affordable Nice was. When you think south of France, you think money and lots of it. We found everything in Nice to be very affordable. The people were charming. The scenery is surreal. And it goes without saying, French food is second to none. We liked it so much, we'll be back in 2024. Here we are at our last stop in the top 10 destinations. It is Avignon, France, a medieval walled city with all the charm and antiquity in place. If time is short and you only have three or four spare days in France, go to Avignon. Not only was it good enough for the first and only Pope in France, it is a premier place for shopping of all kinds. You can get lost in the cobblestone streets that wind around the town or sit in the main square and while away the hours and watch the world go by. Either way, you won't regret a moment of the time spent in Avignon. I know we didn't. So that's it. Our top 10 destinations of 2023 out of about 27, 28 places we visited. And yes, we are tired. <laughs> we hope you've been enjoying the videos. If you are, we really appreciate a thumbs up or better yet, subscribe. Also, we want to wish you and yours a happy holidays and best wishes for a prosperous 2024. We'll see you in the new year. Next stop, Milan.